Welcome to Frost Astrophotography and a Pix Insight Tutorial. Now, if you, like me, have a very slow computer, you might want to program Pix Insight to uh, work batch jobs for you, completing different steps for different or a lot of images without you need to be there to interact with it. In this instance, I have five images here that I want to run Blur Exterminator on. Now, Blur Exterminator does not have any batch job feature built into it. So I cannot uh, tell Blur Exterminator to execute on five different images. I need to do that one by one. And that means that I need to be by the computer to click the next image or tell Blur Exterminator to actually execute on the next image. There is a way around this actually, and that involves using an image container and a process container, as it is called in Pix Insight. The first thing that I need to do is to create the image container. And that is uh, a container with all of the images that you want to be subjected to a process or manipulation in any way. You can access the image container by right-clicking on your workspace and click on Image Container. In this view, you will click on the Add Files button and select all of the files that you want to subject to some kind of processing step. In this case, like I said, I want to run Blur Exterminator on five images that I have in the linear phase of processing and I don't want to do this manually. So now I have my files here. I can also specify the base directory of where they are located and I can select an output directory in this case. I want it to be the same folder. You can uh, choose what to call the files. Now, this is the file name. And you might want to add something. And that is default underscore date time and then the extension. Uh, in my case, I want to add the uh, BXT so that I know that it uh, is Blur Exterminator that I have uh, run on these files. I don't really need to change any of these settings. So when I have completed with this configuration here, I'm simply going to take this uh, new image container instance and drag it to my desktop and I can close that. Now I have my image container. Now I need to make a process uh, container and that will contain every part of manipulation or processing step that I want to perform on these files. I will select process pro all processes and open up process container. I'm not going to do anything uh, advanced in this first scenario. I just want to run Blur Exterminator with the default settings. So I'm simply going to uh, take this new instance and drag this onto my desktop and close this. I'm going to open up Blur Exterminator. I'm going to check to see that 
the settings are correct that I want to use. So that is the stars, halos, uh, automatic PSF. Everything is default here. When I'm confident that all my settings are correct, I'm going to open up this process container. I'm going to take an instance of this process that I have modified or not. Uh, I'm going to take a new instance of this, drag it into the process container window and drop it. Now, this is the first step. If I want to add more things, let's say that I want to run noise exterminator on these images as well. Then I can take the noise exterminator. I can modify the settings as I want them. And I can drag an instance of this and drop it into the process container. Now, when I execute this, it will run through the first step for all images in the image container and then run through the second step for each image in this image container. Now this time I don't really want to run a noise exterminator so I'm going to remove that. But in this case for processes that uh, you don't need to uh, manually control so to speak you can simply add them to a process container and let them uh, execute on a number of files. Just to make sure that uh, we have everything else here, I'm going to drag a new instance of this process container as it is configured right now uh, to the desktop. I'm going to delete the old one. Now I have a process container and I have an image container and uh, they contain everything that I want to do. So to execute this, I simply need to take the uh, process container and drag it, drop it onto the image container and let it start to work. You can see that uh, we have a file one of five and if you like me like i said have a slow computer you might want to use this feature from time to time so that you can do other things while you wait for this to complete finally the processing has completed and i'm going to check the folder here see if everything worked out. And apart from a strange character here in the file name, I'm gonna have to make a note of that. You don't really need that character in the dialog window. Everything seems to be fine. Just going to rename this and I'm going to move these out of the way and I'm going to open the files to see if everything looks good. And I would say it looks like it. I'm just going to compare the two here just to see that it worked as intended and we can see that we have a good result from the stars here and since there is not much nebulosity or HA to speak of without removing the stars uh, I can't tell for this image but as far as the image container and the process container and the workflow for executing a process that could be tedious on several images at once or even multiple processes. This uh, workflow seems to work uh, fine in PixInsight and 
if you have a slow computer or you have a lot of processing that you want to be done without you sitting and clicking by your computer, you can start this and then go do something else. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel to be sure not to miss out on upcoming content. If you want to support me and the making of these videos, there is an option listed in the video description. Until the next video, I wish you have clear skies. Thank you.